Hey, what have you lot heard about that Kanye West situation? The man has broken up with Kim. And he's bought a house right near her yard. You know, apparently a man paid more than the asking price. So if a yard is worth four mil, a man wanted to put down 4.5 just to obtain that yard, you know. Now, the reason why a man's making this video is a lot of people see that situation, innit? And they will laugh, oh, Kanye West is a madman, innit? And just push it to the side, innit? I mean, I'll sit there, because you know a man's a deep thinker, innit? I'll sit there and analyse the situation. I think, you know what? A lot of men go through what my man's going through, just on a lower scale. I don't like to... You can go through my whole channel. Man don't put no celebrities or what's trending in the titles for views and that. Man don't do this thing for views, innit? But... This situation is necessary for me to title a man's name in my video on it. You know? A lot of men can learn from the situation because a lot of men have done it in the past, are doing it now and are going to do it. Hopefully less after man watch this video. So every guy that's been with a girl at some point, like they date or been in a relationship with a girl for at least six months uh, to a year or two, three years, whatever it is, you're going to break up. You're going to have a little mini breakup. One of three things is going to happen when a man has a breakup with a girl in it. He's just going to walk away and say, you know what? Fuck it, we've broken up. Um, at the time, you don't know it's a mini breakup, but okay, cool. We've broken up. I'm going to go my separate way and you do you and I do me in it. I ain't messaging this girl. I ain't contacting her until she gets in touch with me. Number two. Certain man will beg yeah. Now when I say beg a girl, that don't mean knees on the ground and two palms together. Certain men do that. Certain men have got on their knees and begged a girl and cried. But just trying to phone a girl or, you know, when you see a girl trying to reason with them and try and talk them into attraction, that's begging. Man's done that before, innit? Man ain't going to sit on man's soapbox and say, oh, I ain't done that before, innit? Man ain't got on my knees and beg no girl, innit? <laughs> Let's not get it twisted, innit? But man's phone a girl, try to reason with a girl and try and talk the girl back into attraction. That don't work. You're going to fail. Number three. <laughs> Crazy stalker mode. Or at least stalker mode, innit? A lot of men, when they break up with a girl, they might not even get on their knees and beg them or try and talk them into attraction. They will just go on this mad stalker mode, constantly watching their Facebook stories and Instagram stories and that, turning up to their house, turning up to their workplace, sending them flowers. A lot of men, if they had the money to, if they could afford it, they would do what Kanye West has done. But people see that situation and just laugh and that. The only way to handle a breakup as a man is number one. If you break up with a girl, whether you initiate it, so if the girl's pissing you off and you dump her, or you've done something, you've disrespected her, you're cheating and she broke up with you, the only way to handle that situation, if you want your girl back, or if you don't want her back, it doesn't matter. The only way to handle and the best way to handle that situation it's to cut off all ties. That don't mean going on, deleting off Facebook, deleting off Instagram. Just, you know what? You do you, I'm going to do me, innit? Yeah? That's it. I'm not contacting you no more. If you get in contact with me, then all right, we can talk, innit? But I'm not contacting you first, innit? That's the best way to handle a situation like that. If you think begging the girl back or trying to talk into, in, into attraction is going to work, you're sadly mistaken, isn't it? Yeah. If you're a guy watching this right now, think about all the times that you broke up with girls. You might have done a little stalkerish shit, turn up to her yard and that, or try and talk her into attraction. How did that work? Because in my experience, and watching a lot of things on YouTube and listening to women that I've spoken to in the past and I know now, or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. That that don't work. That does not work. The gallon that are watching this right now. What did you think of the guys who, when you broke up with them, they begged you? What did you think of them? Did you think, yeah, it's a real manly, strong, 
an emotionally strong man. No, you looked at him like he was a peasant. Weak. With the man them, same thing with the man them. Girls that watch this right now. What did you think of the man them that was stalking you? Turn up to your yard unannounced. Even had one girl before. She must have broke up with her ex or whatever. My man used to turn up to her yard just now and then, like randomly. But one time, like he turned up to her yard at five in the morning. She must have went to, came back from a night out or whatever, and he went to the club. And she said that I think about ten minutes after she um, came back through the door, there's a knock at the door. My man's all put his foot in the door and he's trying like, let me just come and let me just talk to you and that. That is the wrong way to go about trying to get your girl back. When you do shit like that, like it sends a signal to a girl that you might not have no other options and that. That's a surefire way for a girl to know that you ain't got nothing else going on. Girls don't want to be the top priority, but you're making them that. You know how I know? Because if you break up with a girl and you've got three or four of them Instagram models that you're always liking their photos or following them, Beating down your door. You think you'll be putting your foot in this girl's door? Man, they need to learn from that situation, you know. The best way to handle a breakup. Radio silence has cut off all ties with the girl. Don't beg her back. When I say begging, that don't mean two palms together on it. And on your knees. Just trying to talk her into attraction. You can't talk a woman into attraction. And don't go into crazy stalker mode. You're going to lose the gap. You know what my mindset is, yeah? And the reason why I can always walk away from a girl if we break up. I just think to myself, ah, right, boom, we've broken up now. This is, this, this is a real thing. If your girl was broken up with you, and let's say, for example, like six months has gone past, yeah? Please believe before you lot broke up, she had someone else on the side, yeah? Because women don't just break up with men like that and go and be single for six months. That might happen in rare cases, isn't it, yeah? But the majority of the time, if your guy watching this right now, if you broke up with a girl and you didn't hear from her ever or didn't hear from her for at least three or four, six months, please believe she had someone else on the side. So my mindset is, when I break up with my girl, oh, she probably had someone else on the side. So you know what? That makes it easier for me to move on because I just think to myself, well, this girl is probably playing me. Now, obviously, if she comes back within two weeks, then, oh, okay, it was a mini breakup. But my mindset from the jump is, she probably had someone else on the side. That's why we broke up. And that makes it so much easier. Because why would you want to be with someone you know, you suspected has someone else on the side. Girls, they do this thing called monkey branching. They don't leave one guy until they got someone else on the side. When your girl breaks up with you, you're at the lowest point of attraction to her. If you beg the girl back or turn into crazy stalker mode, put it this way, when you break up with a girl, yeah, or a girl breaks up with you, you're on the edge of a cliff. If you go into crazy stalker mode or crazy begging mode, you're falling off that cliff. It's a one-way street. You can't return from that. You can't bounce back from that. If you're on a breakup with a girl right now, the best thing you can do is just walk away. The worst thing you could do is break it, it, during the breakup is to beg her back. Because you're showing her weakness. Women are only attracted to strength. Emotional strength. Women are not uh, attracted to physical strength. They, they don't care about stuff like that. As long as you're not weak and puny and that, women are attracted to emotional strength. Women want to be with a guy and all say, okay, when times are tough, yeah, if he was put in a situation where he lost everything, how's he going to react? How's he going to cope? This is fucking facts. So, I've got a little cousin, innit? Um... Her little friend at school, her mum died. And she thinks she died of cancer, innit? 
about a month later, the dad hung himself. Fucking madman. So hold on a minute. Your wife has died and you're the only person that your daughter's got really and truly. Well, you're the first point of call, yeah? You're the first person in line. So instead of being emotionally strong and supporting your daughter, you go and jump ship and you abandon your daughter and you go and hang yourself. What a fucking dickhead. This is why women need men who are emotionally strong. So that, do you know what a breakup is? A breakup is a, is a simulation of you losing everything. How are you going to cope? It's a simulation of you losing your house, your money, everything got burnt, burned down and that. How you go and cope? And he failed that fucking test. I guarantee you, though, during that process, like during their relationship, I guarantee you, the mum probably emasculated the man. Yeah, she probably broke up with him a few times and he always ran and begged her back. You know what? Yeah, she should have never had a child with that guy in it. Yeah, like... How can you, how can you fucking, how can your wife die and then your daughter, you're there to look after your daughter, support your daughter and you jump ship and you bail out on your daughter? Man, it's, I can tell, I can guarantee you that during that relationship, she emasculated it all the time. And that's what's going to happen. If you break up with a girl or a girl breaks up with you, whatever in it, yeah, and you go and you try and, uh, you know, talk her into attraction and that, if she does take you back, now she's got the power. Do not give these women the power. They will take the fucking piss. My girlfriend, she has no power whatsoever. If you give them the power, they will take the fucking piss. They're like little children. They don't know what to do with it. Men, when we got the power in a relationship and we run things, we're humble with it. Yeah. Just be respectful and do what I say when I say it. Yeah. I'll Treat you with respect as well, obviously, in it. Man will say please and thank you and that. But when women have got the power in relationships, they'll be telling you what to do, when to do, they'll be emasculating you in public and that. They'll be acting up in public. I've had girls, they're not necessarily disrespecting me, talking to me like I'm an idiot, but they're starting trouble with people in public and that over nonsense. You're disrespecting me. When a woman don't respect you, she's gonna act out in public. When she respects you, she's going to behave yourself. You know what? Furthermore, when a girl respects you and there's a little bit of trouble in public, she looks to you to sort it out. She don't even take the lead and, you know? I remember one time I was in a fucking restaurant and the girl's having an argument with fucking one of the managers or whatever over a milkshake. And don't get it twisted, it's about principle and that. But, but still, causing a scene and that she disrespected me. She ain't necessarily saying nothing to me. But you're disrespecting my presence. When gal respect you, they don't disrespect your presence. They don't disrespect you to your face, and they don't disrespect your presence. They don't talk out of turn in public. But yeah, man. There's three things that you could do. Well, there's only one thing you should do, but there's three things that men do during the breakup process. Whether a man initiates or the woman initiates the breakup, and he walks away, that's... that's 5% of men that do that. Not the 95% of men, they either, they beg the girl back or they turn into crazy stalker mode and that. You do any of those two, beg the woman back or tr turn into crazy stalker mode, you're never going to get that girl back. The only thing you can show her is strength. Show her that you've got the power to walk away. Even if you ain't got no other options, it don't matter. It don't matter. There's always other women. Why is this man them? They feel like this girl is the only girl in the world. If you feel like your girl is the only girl in the world, just go down to fucking Shoreditch on a Friday or Saturday night. You see hundreds of hundreds of women. Anyway, man, had to make this video. The car man them made that mistake in the park. Man's made a mistake as well. Yeah, my name. Yeah, gonna sit on my sofa. Say, oh, I've never. Nah, I'm, yeah, read my book in it. That's what man's saying in it. Yeah, but men have made that mistake in the past. There's certain men making that mistake right now, and there's gonna be men that are still gonna make that mistake. So this is how I know. Yeah, like you see, like all them celebrities and that. They don't watch them red pill channels and that. Yeah, they they don't watch man like AMS and that. Yeah, car. There's certain men. They see them look all red pill channels and that, and they get them off their feed, innit? Think, oh yeah, idiot thing and that. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Man for watch them 
uh, attraction videos and then red pill videos and that to get educated trust me trust me even shit like you can't see your kids see this the women when when you show weakness women will take the fucking piss when you show weakness a woman will keep her kids from you you won't be able to see your youths blood she don't want she don't want weakness around her youths she don't want to raise she don't want no one influencing her boys to become weak men when you're a strong man a woman respects you even if you break up and it's a mutual thing you can still see your kids you know when a woman don't respect you and you're weak especially if she has an ounce of vindictiveness in you you ain't seen your use You know, there's some people that think, oh, the reason why my man bought the yard next to Kim's house is because uh, he wants to see his kids. Man, that guy don't give a fuck. I mean, he might love his kids, but he don't love them that much. Why can't you love them from uh, across the road or a different city? Most men do that. Yeah. Why would you need to be that in close proximity to your youths and that? Yeah, because he's really outside taking them out. Uh, every day for like doing excursions and shit like that man that guy is not moved across the road or around the corner wherever the fuck it is because of his shoes he's doing it kind of he fucking turned into a stalker isn't it my man there picking out the blinds and that like rah well this is the fourth night that um my man's been over to the house and why is the lights on in her bedroom at three in the morning and shit man's a madman man's a madman and a lot of men out here would do the same if they could afford it it's just they can't Anyway, 16 minutes and 50 seconds. Tongue, man. Stay wise.